Geechee boy Musa here to speak. Madness family, what is going on? Glitch God here to speak. Here to speak some positive into your reality. What is going on? What is going on, Madness family? We back at it like a crack at it. I hope you ready. I hope you ready and I hope you steady. I hope you've been elevating your energies and your frequencies. You living in the hard times. You living in the funky times right now. We need to talk about the things that's going on in your life. I know you're feeling it right now. I know you're being influenced by the music. I know you're being influenced by the TV, the shows you see, the people you hang around. You're being influenced by all type of stuff right now. You're being influenced to think of the low. You're being influenced to think of your lowest. So let's talk about it for the kings and the queens to tag along. I need to talk about it for my kings. This is probably the time you've been getting attacked by something you don't know what the hell you're getting attacked by. It's probably been the time that you probably have not been feeling the most motivated. It's probably the time that you kind of been feeling like you've been needing somebody, like you've been ready to clap some cheeks or just been ready to do something that you ain't supposed to be doing. Like this, this is the time that probably feels like you just need to hurry up and get what you want. Like life needs to, life needs to just hurry up and just give it to you, right? This, it's probably that time, right? If anybody can relate, hit that like button for your boy because we're about to dive into it. If anybody can relate, hit that like button for your boy because we're about to dive into it. <laughs> hit that like button for your boy. Show some love to the Madness family and share this video because there's people out there that need to hear this. So we in that time where like you sitting here, you going through things, you going through thoughts, you going through emotions, you going through weird times in life and you don't even know why right you don't know why these people ain't fucking with you you don't know why you just got fired you don't know why such and such ain't hanging with you why she ain't talking to you no more you don't know why you just can't hold on to money you don't know why you just having the worst luck right now let me tell you why let me and let me go ahead and explain to you why Before things can get better, you got to go through the dark. Before you can get to the light, you got to go through the dark. And this is some real shit that's coming from the heart. Before you can get to the light, you got to go through the dark. And before you can find you, you got to go ahead and fix yourself first. You got to go ahead and fix some little pieces that you've been holding on. Weird things to in life. Those, bro, listen, weird people, people in your life will fuck you up. You got to get rid of some people in your life. You got to get rid of some energy, some type of form, some type of something in your subconscious that's that's keeping that negativity in your life. You got to do something else. You got to change up your habits. You got to start eating better. Maybe you got to start thinking better of yourself. You got to do something. You got, you, you got to do something if you want to see change. It could be so many damn things. So many things, bro. Go on more walks. Go, go on a 30 minute walk clear your clear your mind out don't don't be too much on your phone like you used to be maybe take 30 minutes out your day to an hour to be off your phone and i ain't talking about just working at a nine to nine to five because that's literally distracting your mind anyways but that's that's about making you a slave and a bot i'm talking about go do something you love to do find you something you love to do for an hour actual day put your phone down Go on a walk. Do whatever, bro. Go spend time at the park. Go to the gym. Find you something, an hour a day, that's going to clear your brain. That's going to that's going to give you a reset. Especially if you work in these nine to fives where you, boy, that's all you do. You work 40 plus hours a week. And you're probably getting, I know some of y'all are trying to get OT and all this overtime slave work shit. Listen, bro, you can, if you with that mindset, get your bag, man. I'm not with that mindset. I'm not with that none of that clocking in shit like I used to be. I realized I can manifest everything around me, everything towards me. I don't have to chase. I attract. I attract everything into my existence. You attract everything into your existence too. So first thing first, you need to go ahead. Take an hour watch your day to be a better person. Go to the gym. Go do yoga. Stretch. Go listen to frequencies. Go on a jog. Find something that's going to make you a better person. You can't keep doing the same habits every single day, coming home, working 40 plus hours a week, trying to get OT and then expect to have some peace and then expect to have some time alone and then expect to have some time to think clarity. 
This is why your goals are set aside because you have thought like an employee. The second you got paid your first paycheck, you now think, oh, I need to work this week. I need to work that week to get a paycheck. The second you started getting paid by the government from your job, you started thinking like an employee. You ain't started thinking for yourself. How could you think for yourself if you're thinking like a slave? It doesn't make sense to me. How? You got to go ahead and break the codes that you've been always trapped to think. Like, the, that mindset, bro, you got to get out that mindset. You got to break them codes, bro. You got to break the matrix locks. You got to get out of that indoctrinated mindset that as you need to do something to attract something. All you need to do is sit down and feel. Be happy. Raise your frequency, and then it will come to you. Some things come faster than others. You know what I'm saying? Manifestation takes some time sometimes, but not all the time. Some things could just pop right in front of you. That's how beautiful this life is, bro. This life is so beautiful. But you worrying about the materialistic things. You worrying about other things that's not going to make you happy. You worrying about people that's not going to make you happy. You worrying, you worrying about people that's not going to be there for you spiritually. They're only there for you materialistically. They're not there for you on your soul purpose. They're not there to help you grow spiritually. They're not there for you to help you be a better person. They want you to be that same badass person until the day you die. They want you to be that same badass person until the day you die. <clears throat> that's how that's that's how the system is and that's how the system got us trained so why are we living like this why are we doing this every single day why can't you just try to change do something different do something different with yourself do something different with your health man come on man try to eat a little better and you expecting you expecting not to have fucking diseases if you don't do something do something bro just come on y'all just Try to fix something, man. You can't live this life recklessly and think there's no consequences. The law of attraction is real. You attract everything to your reality. If you're going to live this shit blindly, you're going to attract bad things, bro. Because you don't get it how demons, demons stick inside you. Demons, demons, demons stick to things and they attach themselves to you. Low vibrational things, things you can't see with the naked eye. This is why you can have so much shit and still feel empty with still feel empty inside. I don't give a damn. You can have so much money, you can have so much this and that, and still feel empty inside. Ain't no telling what you had to do. <clears throat> Ain't no telling what you had to do to get any of that green. Some people have to do weird stuff to get some of this green. Just saying, man. Just saying. Fix your energy first. Fix your fix the person who you are. Stop thinking on a third dimensional level. Think on a higher dimension. Think as in I can get anything I want if I put my mind to it. Cuz you can. You do, you don't have to do nothing. I promise you, bro. You could just sit there and just raise your vibrations, feel as you already have it. Keep doing that. Keep having faith in it. Your, your ancestors are going to respond and re they're going to respond to your desires. They're going to give you what you want. God, the most high God is going to respond to your desires and give you what you want. I promise you, man. Much love to you. Much love.